jungle ba to? Most likely, I think, because uh, we haven't seen a Cho jungle in Seabol 2022, to be honest. But I feel like there are no other choices. 1-1 one, one jungle, if we think about it, is really slow, considering that her passive is something that you would want to use in a laning phase or a laning scenario. The mas madaling to mama ang kanyang mga abilities in a lane compared to an actual jungle fight. So, men. This might be a Cho jungle. Siyempre, wala pa tayong confirmation dyan. But looking at the other heroes, no? Mid lane Angela, most likely. Gold lane, 1-1. One, one. And now, a uh, Uranus in the XP lane. Post 5, Lolita. So, Renmar. Man, we might be looking at a jungle show. But for the last pick of Blacklist International, bago lumipat ulit sa ating dalawa, it was a biggie na I think oh. would add more and add another layer of protection for the squad of Blacklist International. Yep. I completely forgot that uh, Venus also still has Diggy in his hero pool. And nakita naman natin that there have been multiple times in the past where, oh my Venus, Gunmar Villaluna having a fantastic game on the Diggy. At the same time, the last pick Diggy answers a lot of the things that can be released the next play EVOS. Of course, you can help stay away or keep away from all the crowd control abilities that can be released from Lolita and ng Cho. Of course, the knock-up and the kick from the Cho. You also have the stun and the even bigger stun that na we saw that came from Lolita sa ultimate. Niya. So in terms of being able to protect your team from the main crowd control abilities that you need to leave Blacklist International, the Diggy will help provide that. I actually really like how next the Evos approach this draft. I'm excited to see who they are going to be in jungle and who they are going to go to the jungle. Let's go ahead into the game, man. I'm excited to see the lane configurations for this one. Yeah, let's see. First game oh. of the day, 1-0 na po tayo because of difficulties. Next play, Evos versus Blacklist International. Let's center the land okay. of dawn. And it's going to be a jungle Uranus. Yep. Uh, I wish I said this as an option earlier, but yes, jungle Uranus. So, same idea as having a jungle tank. And for Blacklist International, readjusting their approach to this, uh, to this game. Wherein yung Diggy nila mag-uumpisa sa gold lane para matulungan si Owl. And that's gonna force a reaction by Cadenza. Oh wow, Owl. Significantly low in the gold lane. Nice rotation galing kay Cadenza. Ngunit tignan nyo mga bomba ng Reyna. Napakasakit sa bot lane. I feel like that will force out a donut to recall, no? Because this is 50 HP. Magkamali ka lang ng tapak. Nahihirapan ka na. And in the mid lane, of course, si Ellie Case. Oh no, wait, Takadenza making a play! Oh. First blood goes to next play, Eagles. And Lolita, ever since the M3 World Championship, nakita natin ngayon kung bakit naging magandang option siya dahil sa pagbalik ng mga marksman option, the Guardians Bulwark is strong para si Haji dalikado sa mid lane. Nice flame oh, shot though, hinaapul pa rin si Haji. But here comes Wise with the Paquito, left-handed punch, at mukhang hindi naman nata papatol pa. And that's a nice defensive play coming in from Haji. The flame shot coming in clutch. Munti ka na siya doon. Oh. And Cadenza, good thing that he adjusted his rotation as well na magiging two-man gold lane matchup ang makikita natin. You just have to be careful with the bombs and the pullbacks from the diggy. But good thing oh my Venus picked up the Aegis as well. So, in case na mahuli lang si Al, may extra shield siya. Apple P siya, munti ka na mahuli sa mid lane. Yeah, Yale Hayes, munti ka na siyang matamaan doon ng isa pang sapak. Pero Flicker is burned, so worth it naman ang pag-dive ni Wise doon sa mid lane. Turtle is already up, but I'm seeing a play in mid lane, no? Puntaan natin agad yan. And Haji, he's on the 10 HP. Rene J, coming in with the kicks. It's a 4v1. Oh, it's going to the queen. It's a 1-1 one, one kill score. Flame shot mula kay Dominic, hindi tumama. And this might just be the first turtle of the game going to the hands of Blacklist International. Slight movement, readjustment by Haji. Muntika na siya ma pick off ni Rene J. De Villa Bacarse. We know him as the hitman playing right now for NXPE. Could have been a really great pick off, but it was a great sidestep by Haji. Salik Imam para maiwasan ang si ni Joe. Yeah. And you know, yung ganong klaseng play, uh, risky talaga yun. Pero alam naman natin that Rene J loves those risky plays. Kaso nga lang, pag hindi gumana ganon, nare-reward ang kalaban. And 
turtle Ghost Rans of Blacklist International ang ating gold score ay 600 or 800 pa lang naman lamang ang Blacklist International so kaya pa naman bumawi ng NXPE dito but in terms of power spike Renmar ano ba ang kailangan nating abangan dahil mukhang ang main carry dito ng next play Evo sa si Donut on this 1-1 Yeah, Donut and Ren and Jay, titignan natin. And of course, the timing of Apple Fish as heart guard kung saan siya sa sanib. Ureshi on that Uranus, of course, will be oh! a difficult target to retry against. Rahaji at Wise in the mid lane. Huling huli ang Angela. Men, yung Angela, dahil nga na-burn yung flicker kanina, they're keeping the pressure up and tuloy-tuloy talaga ang pagpasok ni Wai sa mid lane. Ang hirap iwasan ng mga ganong klaseng ability, especially if you're looking at a Haji Kagura na talaga namang aggressive kung aggressive pero kaya din naman maging disiplinado. Short 1v1 here in the top side. Feeling ko mahirapan si Ren J dito makipag-trade dahil obvious yung kalaban. Oo. Bottom lane rotation, 4-man by Blacklist. Oh no, Cadenza, three ports on his HP. Now, Donut, may ulti pa naman, pero mukhang titigilan niya muna ang pag-giging agresibo against his lane matchup. And now, Wise is actually trying to jungle inside the enemy jungle. And I feel like ito yung kalamangan na pakito bilang an S-tier jungler. Ready, Jay? It's a 2v1. My back, karoon niya ba ng hard cards? Nako, bumagsak na naman ang hitman. 0-2-0, now si Ureshi, half HP, makakapag-regen ng konti dito. Four people, so make that five people from Blacklist International rotating mid lane to top lane para sa third lane. Ureshi, bang ma-retry nyo ito? Tignan natin ang retry battle. Oo, pero nakuha pa rin ni Wise. Del Rosario and Imam working together to take down Barganse in the mid lane. Pero si Cadenza, delikado. Nako, Cadenza, 50 HP. Pero mukhang matatur na round play yata ni Donut. Nagahanap siya dito ng crossbow of tank. Here's the heart guard. No reset just yet. Puno na naman kanyang HP dahil sa love of waves. At walang makakakuha ng kill sa labanan na yun. Si Donut may corrosion scythe na... Ah, na siya. Pero, para maramdaman pa talaga natin ang damage ng 1-1. Kailangan pa nila mga items. Owl and Donut, with the assistance of their position 5 roamers, nakapag-farm silang dalawa. Pero, 3-man rotation para sa Blacklist! Oh no! Look at the damage coming in from Haji! Pero, boy, ba't naman si Donut si Cadenza na lang? At hindi na rapid yung HP on Cadenza. At makakapag-flicker pa nga. Here comes Wise with a kill, with a jab. That's a double kill for Wise. No, a triple kill pa nga. Plus, The orange buff na mananakaw din niya back with the national Here ahead in the release But Denza Feeling ko si Donut sobrang saya dun kanina Kasi si Kedenza napablock niya Yung flame shot ni Haji Gamit ang Guardian's Bulwark Pero hindi nakita niya yung ibon na sa likod na pala nila Si Wise on to pakita 4-0-1 And mind you, if you are a new viewer of MLBB Esports. Why is Danry James El Rosario Paquito? We don't see him play the Paquito often. So this is yeah, a unique lang, experience eh, no? that we're seeing. Minsan lang talaga. And right now, 4-0-1 dito, si Wise. Napakagaling talaga ni Wise. So, si Mr. Del Rosario na gumagamit ng mga hero na mahilig manapak. We know him for his Aldos, pero nananapak din naman si Paquito. Three people up top side for the side of Black International. Nakapag-trade naman ang turret sa baba si Donut, pero Rene J taking a lot of damage. Hindi pa maka-clear ng minions kahit pa paano. This is, uh, I think, another turret going to the hands of Blacklist International. But Turtle is already up. Here comes Dominic. They're going for Donut. Crossbow of Tangri. Then, yun yung overturn. Hindi tumama. Ba't ito ka na-damage with the combo coming here from Wise. Stun ay tumama, pero babagsak na rin si Donut. It's still a 4v3 situation. Dominic's still alive, pero mukhang sasabog na nga. Apple Pisha, very low HP. Gihilaan pabalik. And Diggy, traps will only hit the Denza. Ureshi ang tatangke. And that is a trade won by Blacklist International. A 2 for 1 possible turtle as well for Blacklist. Oh, para makatawid sa late game, kailangan hindi mo matay na next play Evos, well obviously. Pero kailangan din nila mag-build ng mga defensive items kasi sobrang sakit ng burst damage ng Blacklist International. Across the board, they have burst damage. The Paquito, the Fovius, pag nagde-demonic force na siya. Hadjis, 
Ah, uh, Kagura. And of course, Owl na nakabuo na siya. The Blade of Despair. Masasakit pa ang damage ng Blacklist International. Next play, Evos. Kailangan lang nila kumapit at makabuild ng items oh, nila. Oh, here demonic force. Ano Go not. Mahihirap ang tumakas dito. Look at the damage. Baka mag-reset. Oh, 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 denied by Dominic. And now, nag-skitpots na lang si Renegade. Pero 5 BT na ba nandito? Apple Fisha with the heart card. Boy, pares yung Reshi. Mga kapag-region niya. Kailangan ng Tore. That's one kill. Go to na sa next play, Evos. At kailangan na mag-back ng Blacklist International. And that is one turret going to the hands of next play Evos. Hindi na bagsaga na kinibit ang turret Blacklist International. Turret has been destroyed. Good effort by Lagronio and Bataanon. Na muntikan na sila nung makuha ng double kill. Pero sakto sa pagbaba. Ni Apple Pisa from the hard guard. Ready, ready si Al magpato ng quick draw. Munti ka na nga magpatubo doon. Si Del Rosario. Oh, si Delia Luna. But the Aegis just in time. Clutch Aegis and of course Al with the quick draw. And looking at the goal score, no, medyo may malaki na ang kalamangan ng Black Lives International. Pero wala pa namang nababasag na inhibitor turret. Then Rosario, mukhang mga agaw muna na orange pop roll at sumabog sa kamao si Cadenza na ata ang sunod. Dominic looking for another kill. Flame shot. Blocked by Apple Fisha. Nice play. Galing kay Kapitan Yeli Hayes at mid lane na ang call ng Black Lives International. Nagaanap sila ng pwede ng tapusin niya ba? Pero dalawa lang ang kanilang minions. Bukang kailangan na nila mag-back pero nagda-damage pa rin ng popok pa rin ang kapupunan ng Black Lives International. Barkara sa'yo na habol ni Del Rosario. Ren J getting chased here by Wise. But Ren J, safe. Just being able to build now the Blade of Despair. High and dry, Cho. So, again, next play Evos. Kung makakapit lang sila makapag-depensa pa sila, seems like they might be able to turn things around. Again, malaking problema ang first damage na meron ang Blacklist International. The next play Evos. Making the most out of Ren J's split pushes, and this is a good call by NXP na sa mga sitwasyon na to, kung meron ka namang split pusher na mobile, mabilis makabasag ng tore, pwede rin makatakas kung merong isa o dalawang maghahabol sa kanya. And this is what they have to do and this is a right thing. But now Blacklist International, malapit na nila basagi ng isa pang inhibitor-based turret ng next play Evo. That's the second inhibitor turret for the side of Blacklist International. Bot lane na lamang natitira sa next play Evos at umaabot na nga ng almost 10k gold lead ang meron ng Blacklist International. Split push na lamang ang call ng next play Evos dahil may hihirapan silang manalo ng teamfights pero mukhang no choice na ata sila. With the Lord, marching down mid lane. This might be the GG push call. Coming in from Blacklist International. Here comes Cadenzo with the play. Walang matatamaan sa kanyang Numinon Blast. Hachi going in. Bakay na agad si Yeli Ace. Dominic doon sa backside. Don't not bumagsak sa loob ng face. That's a double kill para kay Dominic. Lord, ay buhay pa rin. Dalawa na lang ang natitira. Si Reni Kane na lang ang natitira para mag-defend. Ahabulin pa rin ni Dominic. Habang ang Lord ang lumaham pa sa base. Game number two ay mapupunta sa Blacklist International. That is now a 2-0 lead for Blacklist International. A unique lineup by Next Play Evos. Again, in terms of how they drafted that and the adjustment that they tried to do, considering the situation, it was a good attempt. Pero the problem talaga ang burst damage. The even in the first five to six minutes of the game, four to six minutes even, na mayroon burst damage ang mga heroes ng Blacklist International. Hirap talaga. Uh, gawin ang kailangan gawin dito ng next play Evos. But the effort was there. But Blacklist International still looking really sharp. We were treated to a wise Paquito. Again, something we rarely see. Great adjustment by Venus to help uh, protect Owl and to instead jump into the blue of lane. Hello to both teams. I guess. Hello sa, <laughs> sa post-game lobby, no? <laughs> Pero 